Hi, my name is Corey Bartle, and I was hired in to help with the sales department here at Modern Piano. Uh, one of the things we decided was that for me to better help, that I would go on a trip with one of the drivers named Lou. So, uh, as anybody would be, I was a little hesitant on moving pianos because when you think of a piano, you think of heavy, awkward, you know, how's this going to fare out? To be honest with you, it wasn't that bad. Um, we worked as a team, uh, used leverage, and were able to move them fairly easy and without difficulty. Uh, as you'll see in the videos that you're about to watch and the demonstrations of how easy it can be. Thank you. Hi, I'm Russ, General Manager at Modern Piano. Uh, I've been asked to talk to you all about uh, what it takes to be a piano mover. Um, I know a lot of folks are concerned that that sounds like it could be a difficult job, and really it's pretty easy. Uh, we are actually here in our warehouse. You can go ahead and put that pad down. <laughs> uh, this is where all the uh, pianos come and go as we are delivering pianos across the country. Um, the actual art of moving a piano is really simple. I've been doing it for 30 plus years and um, often we get folks that just think that it's um, kind of like the Laurel and Hardy where they're uh, going up the steps and fighting it and it's a difficult job and nobody wants it and actually it's, it's very easy, uh, it's enjoyable and virtually anybody can do it. I'm going to demonstrate with this piano here basically how easy it is to move this. This is a four-wheel dolly. We use these typically in the warehouse. We have a special dolly on the road. Um, if you want to just steady it for me over here. Don't, don't try and pick up or anything. I'll just do all the pickup. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Pretty simple. Can almost move it myself. That is all it takes, and we're ready to roll off onto the truck. Of course, we get them padded before we do that, keep the customers happy and such, but for the most part, it just is pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to move a, a grand piano. There's really two types. Uh, you've got a vertical, which we just, just demonstrated, and this is a grand piano. Uh, just as easy, really, just a little bit more involved in disassembly. Uh, we use a piano board to protect the bottom of the piano, or the side of the piano, I should say. We always want to make sure that the piano is cared for properly. By the way, you're in our shop here where we do uh, repairs on pianos. We're in customers' uh, needs of rebuilding or such. So the only thing really involved is taking the legs off, putting it on the side, which can be done with, with one person. It's not really that complicated. You've got, you've got locks that hold it in, these are the pedals, these are the supports. This would be considered a baby grand. They certainly get bigger than this, but for the most part, it's the same procedure. Corey, if you could just give me a hand and make it just a little easier if you could pick up on that for me. Okay. Come on down. Watch your fingers. That easy. <laughs> that 
that is really all there's to it. Uh, the piano is now ready for padding. That'll take about another 10 minutes to pad up, put straps over it, and I'll show you an example of that in just a second. Hi, this is Russ again, and we are demonstrating once we get the piano padded. It's relatively simple to get it on the dolly. And of course, once it's on the dolly, it's on a wheel, and we can do whatever we need to at that point. Ready, Corey? Yep. Give me a three count. One, two, three. Okay, go ahead and set it. Set the dolly in there. This is a six wheeler, a special dolly that we use, created right. by a gentleman in Atlanta, Georgia, to uh, make it really easy. Go ahead and pull it to you just a little bit. That's good. Make it very easy to move the piano. You can see there's just not a whole lot of effort involved. The piano is very stable. Being able to turn, I can pretty well move this big, big bad boy myself. But of course, we use two men on all moving jobs to make sure that we're safe. This is Russ again. Uh, we found another example to show you how light and easy these pianos are to move around. Uh, we like to use the leverage, which allows um, for ease of picking and handling. Corey, if you'd uh, just watch my balance there for me. I'm going to switch it. This is a warehouse dolly that we, uh, we use here in the warehouse. And we actually use them in the trucks also. Once we load them on this dolly, they just stay on there. And when we're going to and from a warehouse, we just leave them on the dolly. So you only have to pick it once at the, um, at the origin. And then you have to get it on your six-wheeler. Each crew has their own six-wheeler. And that uh, allows you to go over grass and other obstacles. It will climb two steps. Coming up nice and easy. It just isn't very heavy at that point. It's very easy to maneuver. You get it onto the dolly. Very little work involved. Simple. We're going to put it back on the other dolly and uh, demonstrate how, how uh, light it is once it's reached its, its uh, teeter-totter position, I call it. Coming up to you. All right. All right. Got, got it. Got it. So we're going to put this piano back together again, as we would in the customer's house. The legs have a cam lock, which makes it very easy to install. Most of the pianos have that kind of system. And you just use a rubber mallet, which is over there. Thank you, sir. It's really just that simple. Each leg is numbered so you know where to put it. Two legs are on. We try to use leverage to make the job easier. That way we don't have to stress. Our support rods go in, and we are ready. Let me put a pad on top of there to set this baby up. Okay, I got it from here actually. The job is pretty well set up to where you can do it by yourself. We always like to have two people just for safety and somebody to talk to. Turn that wheel around for me. Nice. I'll just give you just a little bit of boost right there. All right. right over here. You kind of feel where the piano yep. touches the line. Ready? Go. The piano will actually hold itself there while I put the last leg on. 
That's it.